Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Strip Studio Gallery. And I need a spatula swipe fix. And I'm going to use some black paint and some white paint and some other colored paint. And I am not sure how this is going to go, but I'm going to give it my best shot. That's some Anita's white metallic. That's some silver. I'm not sure who that silver is by. I wanted to make sure that was open and I didn't get it open. Oh, I'm crying now. Let me get that out. I'm going to start kind of slow for me. I don't think I'm going to put all my colors down until I've swiped a few things. I want that clog out of that tip right now. And it doesn't want to cooperate. But I think I got it. Alright, so spatula slight swipe away. Run the spatula right down the edge of the canvas. I'm probably going to wipe this off so I can use it in something else. I think I got my orange open. Oh, it's closed itself again. Darn. Darn, darn. Not sure if I should be risking not cleaning my spatula off, but I kind of like texture when I get it. I'm trying to go with the flow, feel where things should end up. Clean off my spatula. Maybe wipe it off with a damp rag or grab a fresh one. I think it's time for that one to go in the bucket. Time to grab a fresh one. So I've been trying to get myself for a while to use this red that's color shifting from Folk Art. And I want some white, some real white, some maiden white. I may some, at some point in time switch to a card, a swipe card. Try and get my torch out of the way. Use the color that's still in my spatula. See what I can manifest. Cover the end. That's what I'm doing with my spatula right now. Do the same over here. Because in theory, when this is over, I can always cover it. I like my white gaps. I also want to continue. If you need questions answered, like what color I'm using, feel free to ask me. Well, that didn't really, I think, a little too much black still in my spatula. That one should have had a wipe off. Well, we'll probably get a little color in there as it sets up. 
I haven't used any of my Amsterdam black and I have it standing by. If I wanted to drag a tool through, I'm not sure I'm going to do anything more than just have some fun right now playing with this. I could stop and leave it. I want some of that black to go to get used. So I'm going to put it right there. And look at my colors. I kind of like what I've got. That's the purple flash from Folk Art. use a straw. I have one handy. I wonder if, yeah, I kind of think I would like some of this golden hour. My little, new little, my strange little tool, sort of like a paint hoe. Got some nice cells down here. I've wanted to experiment with this, but it always feels kind of risky. This time I'm just giving myself permission and purple. <laughs> what purple? I'm just sort of filling in and making some textural additions by pouncing my little my little block. I think I'm gonna use some more. I need is white metallic. I like the electric blue from Arteza. And I think I want some of that right in here. Yes, I do. Learning how to use a tool is all about creating new opportunities and using them, using that tool in ways you didn't think of before. So that's my current objective. I did find out they're rather nice for covering the edges of canvases. I throw that in the bucket too. I like all that. I don't really want to do anything else to that. And because canvases come primed, I could really just leave it, which is my inclination, as I said. This is far more me. So, good negative space. Maybe I will throw some white in there. Because I can. And see what happens to it. 
<laughs> because I can. It's already white down here. There's a few places I'll be covering the edges on. But, um, like I said, this is my style. kind of want to put some of that color down here, but I also like it the way it is, so maybe I'm just... going to do something alternative. And use my little tool. See what I can manipulate. Not unhappy with that at all. If I had a really small tool, and I probably do somewhere, I'm sure I could spread some of that paint. But honestly, I don't think it's a necessary evil at this point. Still, my curiosity will get the best of me. And I will play. because I can. Well, it's not really a brush, and it's not really a spatula, but it's a lot of fun. And it makes a pretty good swipe tool. for a paint skewer. Then I'm going to call this good. Now skewers move paint quite nicely. I'm still dying to put something up there. And I think it's going to happen still. I tried to not do it. But I needed to. And I can use all that paint that's on that skewer right over my edge. I'm going to call it good. Pretty good. Close. Are you sure? <laughs> no, I'm not sure. I like the dried on paint balls on the end of the skewer because they, they spread paint pretty well in tight little spaces. Which doesn't bother me when I want that to be the case. Everything else is going to have to be as it is. And if I wanted to take the time tomorrow, I could fill things in. I keep wondering if I want to dot things. Part of me wants to dot things. Preferably with a skewer without any attachments, like bamboo fibers or dog hairs. I don't know how much time I've got. I've got two minutes. I'm having fun playing. A 
I've got more black paint and I think I'm going to need it. I might want to put some white dots in the black too. Yeah, I like that. Just a few. I'm not sure about those. Unfortunately, I can wipe them out pretty easily. But the black ones I definitely like. Excuse me. So I'll be touching up my edges. I've got 93,000 subscribers and if you're brand new, please be welcomed. Glad that you're here. If you're not brand new and you're here. Thank you so much. If you're not subscribed, we'd love to have you. Please help us out and subscribe. And uh, if you're looking for more videos, there's 1,900 on 19 lists of 100 each. I get nervous putting black dots in because they start to look like eyes to me. I've got two minutes to tell you about the monthly drawing on the end screen video. It's an exhibition video. It changes every month. Still want to put some more black dots down. Just sort of scraping off my, my cell activator dish and using my finger to pull things up. I think that's fun. And I'm happy with it. It's got a lot of great texture. I don't think there are that many ch changes that are necessary. It's definitely right up my alley. It's probably exactly what I needed. My own personal art therapy. Putting everything in the bucket. I'm going to torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. After you're gone, I'm going to um, touch up my edges. If you're looking for my paint pouring recipe, you can find it right below the video when you click show more right under the link tree, which is the first blue link. You can find my Amazon link on the link tree. And if you shop there, it's at no other cost to you and it helps me out. And you can find my two books there, volumes one and two, because I can, and unlimited possibility. If you're looking for the community board on my YouTube channel, it's because you'll find tomorrow's video there. If you're looking for pixels.com and Fine Art America, they're on the link tree and they're a good place to shop as well as Teespring clothing below the video. You can see that visible usually <laughs> and it's got all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts. I have a brand new link to Le Gallerist where there's beautiful dresses and scarves and kimonos and all sorts of beautiful fabrics available and that is becoming a thing. My new venue, I'm so stoked I can't tell you. So my email address is below the link tree should you want to have information regarding a class at the house in Spring Hill, Florida or if you're interested in helping support the studio's production of videos please by all means use the PayPal or Patreon icon on the lower right hand corner of my YouTube channel banner and you'll be automatically included in the monthly drawing. If you like my videos it helps me out. If you watch them all the way through it's the most help you can give me. If you share them it's a big assistance and I really appreciate it. Um, thank you for all the wonderful comments that you leave me to keep my morale boosted while I get depressed once in a while about this old gig occasionally. If you have questions please ask me. If you, um, if you, oh, what, no, if anything, thank you so much for all the donations that help keep me painting. I'm trying to read with my glasses are not very good for distance. Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links you can find on the link tree too, and my website and probably all kinds of other cool stuff if you look. So I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I don't know if there's any point in zooming in on this because there aren't any cells and there weren't any meant to, meant to be any cells. Well, there are some right down. Let's see if I can find them. Right there. Right 